Isaiah Chapter 42 Behold my servant, I will stay upon him, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment in truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and spread them abroad, He that stretched forth the earth and the buds thereof, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and I will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, and for a light of the Gentiles that thou mayest open the eyes of the blind, and bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, this is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they come forth I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the towns that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rocks sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a giant. He shall stir up his courage like a man of war. He shall shout and cry, and shall prevail against his enemies. I have a long time held my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills, and dry up all their herbs and I will make the floods islands, and I will dry up the pools, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, and lead them by paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, and say to the molten images, Ye are our gods. Hear, ye deaf, and ye blind, regard, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as the perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou keepest them not. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is willing for his righteousness' sake, that he may magnify the law and exalt it. But this people is robbed and spoiled, and shall be all snared in dungeons. And they shall be hid in prison houses, they shall be for prey, and none shall deliver. A spoil, and none shall say, Restore. Who among you shall hearken to this, and take heed, and hear for afterwards? Who gave Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, because we have sinned against him? For they would not walk in his ways, neither be obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him his fierce wrath, and the strength of battle, and it set him on fire round about, and he knew not, and it burned him up, yet he considered not.